Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. IBM ODM on Cloud. How to test rule execution on the cloud using SOAP UI. This video shows you how to quickly test your rules that are deployed to the cloud rule execution server using the SOAP UI application. A pre-trade checks decision server's rule app is used in the demo. You will learn how to download HTTPS description file from the cloud, how to create the SOAP project, configure user authorization, and submit the SOAP request using SOAP UI. Step 1. Download HTTPS description file from the cloud rule execution server console. First, log in to IBM ODM on the cloud. Enter the username and click Continue. Then enter the password. On the Cloud Portal Applications page, click the Launch link of the Rule Execution Server console. When the console is loaded, click the Explorer tab. Click the Rule App name. Then the Rule Set name. On the toolbar of the rule set view, click Retrieve HTTPS Description File. You can choose SOAP or REST service protocol type. In this demo, SOAP will be used. Click the Download button to retrieve the WSDL file. Make sure the file is downloaded in the local file system. Step 2. Create a SOAP project in SOAP UI with the WSDL file imported. Create a SOAP project. Enter a project name. Select the WSDL file you downloaded. Select and open the file. And then click OK. The SOAP project is created. Expand the project tree and open the sample request. Step 3. Set the request test data and configure the authorization. Enter the test data in the request body. Click Auth to configure the authorization. Select Add New Authorization. Keep the default basic type. Click OK. Enter the cloud user credentials. Make sure to choose Authenticate Preemptively option. Click Off again to close the configuration area. Step 4. Submit the request and check the result. Click the green Submit button to send the request data. The result is displayed on the right. Note the outputs of the Reason and Status fields. Change the test data, for example, the stock name. Submit the new request. The reason and status in the result are updated accordingly. For more IBM ODM on cloud information, visit the IBM Knowledge Center. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.